Okay, so for this sprint, I'm taking a look at the player controller, the factories, and the centipede head. So the player controller uncouples the key presses from the blaster directly. So we make our blaster reference. When we press spacebar, we fire a bullet from the blaster, and any of the arrow key presses moves the blaster in the corresponding direction. Then in our mushroom factory, I have factories uh, for the mushrooms, the bullets, and the enemies. So when we make a new mushroom, for instance, we have one of two choices. If our list of recycled items is empty, we have no existing mushrooms, we will create a new one. Uh, otherwise, we will pop the first item from our list, and then in either case, we will go ahead and reinitialize its position and other variables uh, to be less wasteful with our resources. So when we first create our mushroom, uh, we just initialize the simple things like its sprite, uh, and then when we reinitialize it, we'll uh, reset its animation frame as well as its position and its health and whatnot. And then our centipede, uh, we basically have two states. It's either turning or not. Uh, so we will start by moving forward. Every few frames, we will check if a wall, a game wall, or a mushroom is incoming. If that's the case, we'll prepare for a turn. And then we'll turn every frame after that. And once we finish the turn, we will stop. So move forward, pretty straightforward. We just update our X position. Uh, centipede will collide, again, whether the next position will collide with a mushroom or go outside the game area. Uh, prepare for a turn, we also check if we are going to be turning outside of the game area. If that's the case, we will change these variables so that we'll start moving in the opposite Y direction. And if we reach the bottom, we'll also change our movable area to the player area. Then when we turn, uh, every frame we just rotate our sprite and rotate with a smooth circular rotation with cosine and sine and update our position. Once we finish our turn, uh, we reset our turn variables and change these variables uh, so we'll start moving in the opposite x direction. So once we go ahead and run it, we can see the centipede spawn in at the top and it is responding correctly to the walls and the mushrooms. And then also if I start firing bullets and getting rid of some of these mushrooms and also spawning in some of these other enemies, you can see at the bottom right that the factories are working, indicating that we're using new and recycled items. And taking a look back at the centipede, it's now at the very bottom. It's understood that it's at the bottom and now it starts to go back up. And then now it has determined that it's in the player area and now it's going to stay there.